Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Sammy, and I know I haven't uploaded in a long, in a long time, and that's just because I've been busy with school and all that crap. So, but it's gonna be a how I organize my binder for my junior semester of college, and it's actually gonna be my last semester before I get my associates. So, yeah, but it's just the binder I'm currently using. I'm taking three like five classes and I had the perfect amount of dividers. I got this binder from Walmart and I already came like in the dividers you see here. Like you see this like these? My alarm is going off. Hold on. And it also came with like a little folder pouch thing but I don't know where to put that. So I believe this is like a one and a half inch. It's my pen in here. And as you can see in the front I have like a little collage. It's just like things that represent me, so I just like washing out. So I have Sodas, Kyung from 24K, Chunga, pictures from when I went to Super M concerts, my friend, uh, Kevin and Lei from Yukis. I was about to say Kevin and Lei from Yukis. Former former Yukis Kevin and Lei of EXO. I had the six moons, so two moons too. And I have um, AOC with Kevin and Becky on because. Anyway, so. It kind of looks like, I'll just show you like the tabs, okay. sorry it's kind of hard, so yeah, it's my, what tab is this, my chemistry one tab, so I just have all my stuff for chemistry one, like my syllabi, it's just a syllabi section, and I have like periodic table elements, the second tab is just like my worksheets for chem one, like homework, and like practice worksheets, that's all that's in the section. And then this section is for my organic chemistry sections. I print out I print out our notes and then I just fill in what didn't like come off on the outline um portion. And I actually have a test today in um at my exam in organic chem, so this is like my writing on like paper. Yeah, I was in the middle of like writing down the outlines and stuff like that. So this is not even all of um our PowerPoint. This is just like the first half. So as you can see like this where like it got really busy. And then yeah. oh this is actually, this is actually a good page. So you can see then in the next section, I believe I keep my art history stuff. Yeah. Oh, I know. I keep like um, like our quizzes because we take our quizzes online, and then we can like review them and find out where it went wrong. So I just like wrote out the questions. Sorry, it's kind of like washing out. I'm not sure why. There we go. Okay, next section. It's my art history section is green one. We don't really do a lot in art history, we just like do extended responses and and take quizzes. So these are my these are like me taking notes on the test and like figuring out where I went wrong. So yep. And then this section is just blank paper just in case. But I'm all virtual, so I'm at home all the time, so I don't really need to take notes. But I just do it anyway, just because I remember things way better if I write it down. <laughs> my last section is my math section. Um, I don't have a lot besides this review sheet I was working on. Um, because it's midterms, like I said, so I was like doing a bunch of reviews. So I don't have anything in the math section right now, except for that one. And I do have an exam opening. So, yeah. But like, this is just my notes and my worksheets. I have my syllabi in the front, like in the front, like in the first tab, this pink one. I have another periodic table of elements. I have so many because I printed because I printed my own out and then my professor gave me one. In this section, I keep like the paper I would use for my study guides, and then okay, this also has a periodic table that my professor like uploaded for us to use 
and then these post-its are like what I have to study for my exams. In the back is just like some conversions. And then here's my study guide for our first exam in Orgo, which I got an 85 on. So. Yeah, it just looks like this. Here's our exam 2 guide, and I got a 95 on it, so. I'm working on one for our third exam, but I never got to finish it. And then, yeah, I have like five exams for that class. And then I have um my study guide for exam two in chemistry one. Yes, I'm taking both chemistry one and chem chemistry two because I wanted to get a better grade in chemistry one, but I already had to take chemistry two, so might as well take them both. And I also take chemistry two lab, but I don't have my lab notebook up here but that's just how I organize my binder for this semester of college um I used to do this a lot in like middle school and high school we were required to get like a big binder and put like dividers in it and like each divider divider would be for a different class I think I did this like sixth grade yeah sixth grade I remember because um the seventh and eighth grade I had to get individual notebooks which was like yeah, a lot and I actually think I remember getting like a binder and some dividers in fourth grade, but it depends on the teacher, honestly. Um, for high school, I didn't really need binders per se. I mean, like I probably like put everything all in one binder, kind of like this, even though I had even on odd days. So yeah, I think for senior year, I had like two in two one inch binders for A days and B days. So I would have one for A days, which is like all my A-Day classes, which were all my AP classes for some reason. And then my B-Day classes would be like my easier classes. And like I would just like have them organized like that. And after a while I kind of switched to a bigger binder just because I wanted everything with me. Like I was that type to ha always have something on me just in case. And I also had like a free period on both days so I could just do my homework during that time or something. So that's why I like kept everything with me. So yeah but it depends on like what your school, like it depends on your teachers, if you're in middle school or high school, or sometimes even elementary school did it. Um, for college, you kind of have more freedom. I usually took notes on my iPad, but I realized that I don't even look at my iPad like that anymore. So, but so this one I'm currently using, and I like this method. Um, it works for me and the type of student I am, but. You know, you don't prefer binders, you don't have to use binders. I know my sister hates binders with passion, so. But, yeah, um, you can make like collages and stuff on like freaking um, photo grid or something. Just, I think that's why I made this one. I forgot, but yeah, anything to keep me motivated. And since I'm at home, I can just like stuff everything in here. And if I have to go like on campus or something, which I'm not going to, I can have everything with me plus my laptop and whatever other stuff I need so yeah but that is it I hope you guys enjoyed this video um it's kind of yeah kind of kind of like out of the blue I would say sorry my hair is like being annoying but I had time to film today actually I really don't but you know why not <laughs> anyway I'll see you guys in the next one bye